I'm Dave Donaldson. Welcome to Grip Tips. Today, we're talking about paper amps. Okay, so what are paper amps? Uh, as far as electricity goes, paper amps is basically taking all of the wattage of all the lights that you're using, um, adding them all together, dividing them by 100 to equal how many amps you're probably going to use. It's not the exact amperage that you would be using, but it's always usually giving you some sort of safety net um, to make sure that you would never ever trip a breaker or uh, break a fuse. Okay, so when you're lighting something and you're trying to figure out, well, how many amps do I have to play with? You can find out all that information right here in the breaker box. If you actually open up one of these, you can actually look at the buttons on them and you'll see that you'll actually have either 15 or 20, kind of like it's marked here. Now some breaker boxes will actually be labeled. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple pieces of tape up here that tell me exactly which breaker is going where. Now let's just say for an example, I'm trying to plug in all my lights inside of the hallway. So if I look here at the list, it actually says that the number two breaker is the hallway. And if I look at the breaker itself, it says I have 15 amps to play with. Let's say I have two 650 lights and a 300. Well, that's gonna equal 1600 watts, which means if I divide that by 100, I got 16 amps, which means I'm probably gonna pop a breaker or a fuse. Okay, so let's say I have a 1K, a 650, and a 150. And I add all of those together and I'm gonna get 1800 watts. Uh, but if I divide that by 100, I'm gonna get 18. So on a 20 amp circuit, I could actually use all three of those lights on the exact same circuit. Because as we all know, 18 is less than 20. And if you're looking for the wattage of a light, just check the side of the light because usually it's posted in big bold numbers. Now, is this method gonna give you the exact number of amps that you're going to use? No, it's actually, it's giving you a safety zone. Even though we're using paper amps, it's not the exact amperage that each light is actually using. Uh, for example, a 1K light will have 8.33 amps. Um, a 650 light will actually generate 5.4, a 300 will generate 2.5, and a 150 will do 1.25, which gives us some um, 17.48. That's how many amps that we're actually using. So could we use all four of those lights on the same 20 amp circuit? Yes, technically we could. But I would only stress trying to do that when you only have that one outlet to work with. If I have plenty of outlets around the house, then I'm gonna try and use everything I can from all different places. If this method is still kind of confusing, best rule of thumb, one light per wall. So I hope this was some helpful information for you. Uh, if you like what you saw today, um, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, if you wanna ask me any questions, please do so right here on my Twitter. Uh, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.